This week on Studio 209, we check out some MMA action with Lethal Luis Gonzalez. Studio 209 is sponsored by City of Turlock Municipal Services and 209 Magazine. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Eddie Ruiz, your host. And this week, we travel to Sacramento to check out WFC 16, where Turlock's very own Lethal Luis Gonzalez takes on Iron Ty Freeman in a welterweight fight. And we're going to check that out right now. I started wrestling, obviously I were in Turlock's wrestling room right now, I started from here. I was actually working at Bilson's and then right across the street was the MMA gym. And I was kind of just messing with it at first and then once I got on a win streak and saw I was beating some top opponents in the area, in the region, um, saw that I could actually make a career out of it and do, do big things. So I've got offers for Bellator and World Series of Fighting, but I want to try to go back into the UFC. So and try to win a couple more in the region. So that's why I'm fighting back in the region again is because if I go with the World Series and Bellator, I'll be locked into a contract. I'm starting to get to the level where these guys have wrestling too and you know I gotta up my other parts of my game with my stand-up, my jiu-jitsu, and just overall become a MMA fighter and not just a wrestler that knows how to throw a punch. Hopefully we can get there in you know, two wins, this one and one more, we can get back there. You know, it might take one more than that, but a lot of it's gonna be timing and, and you know, when the UFC needs, you know, needs that guy at 55 or 70, you know, wherever we decide to, that Lou's gonna fight. I think once they get in there and once Lou puts his hands on him, you know, he's gonna kinda have that oh no moment and you know, kinda reality's gonna set in. My second round, I think that's the best I've ever stood up in a round. I mean, there was a couple times I had him wobbled up against the cage and I just saw his eyes starting to roll back. So I saw the effect it was taking on, I saw his leg all bruised, so yeah, I kept chopping down at those legs. And I dominated, never really in trouble in that fight. And I think I'd showcase that I can I could stand up and I'm not just one dimensional wrestler. Still great, besides my hand, um, <laughs> I kind of messed up my hand in that fight. Like I said, I was telling people for a while I was going to try to showcase my stand-up. There was a couple times I got him almost finished, but yeah, I just if I think if my hand was good, I could have put a little bit more heat on those shots. I was trying to get hopefully like about three or four fights in this year, so uh, see how it goes. I don't know. I got to got to check out with the doctor first, but uh, might be I'll be back. I'll be back. Hopefully, the latest by summer, depending on how this is. Man, Lewis, you were such a beast, man. Looking at that hand right there, just, oh man, it makes me hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's why you don't mess with fighters, and that's why I'm not a fighter. Yeah. Don't forget to check out this episode and all episodes at 209magazine.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe exclusively at the Turlock Journal YouTube channel. Next week, we're previewing Super Bowl 50. That's right, it's coming up here in Northern California. Our very own Frankie Tobar is gonna have some great previews for us, which I'm kind of envious about, but that's okay if he brings me back a Cam Newton signed ball or something like that. Maybe some memorabilia, I don't know, we'll see. I'll talk to you afterwards, Frankie. But anyways, you guys won't want to miss that one. So for everybody here at Studio 209, I'm Eddie Ruiz. As Cam Newton would say, see you next week.